Good morning, guys. Happy Easter. Today, we're gonna do stuff a little bit different, and we are gonna be making cookies. Now, these cookies are really special to me because the night before Easter, my family would make these special Easter cookies together. So I wanna make them with you. So here's what you're gonna need. It's very simple. You need one cup of pecans, one cup of sugar, three eggs, a little bit of salt, a teaspoon of vinegar, a wooden spoon, a Ziploc bag, and of course, your Bible. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 300. As we make these cookies, we're gonna be reading some scripture. So our first verse comes out of John chapter 19, verses one through three. Then Pilate took Jesus and heard him. The soldiers twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed him in a purple robe and they went up to him again and again, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They were mocking him, they were not being nice. So our first step is we're gonna take pecans, a couple of pecans here and put it in our Ziploc bag. You're gonna seal up your Ziploc bag and then take your wooden spoon and you're gonna crush your pecans with it until they're little tiny pieces. You can go ahead and set that aside. Our next scripture comes out of John chapter 19, verses 28 through 30. Later, knowing that everything had been finished and so the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a syrup in it and brought the sponge to Jesus. They lifted it to his lips. When he received the drink, he said, it is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Just like they gave Jesus vinegar, we also are going to put vinegar in our cookies. This might sound a little weird, but trust me. Our next scripture comes from John chapter 10, verses 10 through 11, the word of God. But I have come that you might have life and have it more full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. So we are going to be adding egg whites to our cookies. Now these eggs represent life. Just how at Easter time, we decorate with little eggs because it reminds us of the new life that Jesus gave us. So let's go ahead and add our egg whites into our cookies. Our next scripture verse comes out of Luke chapter 23, verses 37, the word of God. A large number of people followed him, including women who mourned and wailed for him. This represents the salty tears of Jesus's followers and the bitterness of our own mistakes and the wrong things that we've done. Our next scripture comes out of John chapter three, verses 16, the word of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So far, all of these ingredients have not been very good tasting. I bet you're thinking, Sydney, those sound like pretty horrible cookies. Well, now we're going to add a cup of sugar. And this is the sweetest part, because the sweetest part of our story that we're reading is that Jesus died because he loves us. He loves us so much that he sent his one and only son so that we could have eternal life. So let's go ahead and add our sugar. Okay, so now that we have most of our ingredients in, your pecans are still set aside, we are going to get a mixer and we're gonna beat up all of our ingredients until stiff peaks are formed. After a few minutes of mixing, our egg whites have formed pretty stiff peaks. So next thing you're gonna do is take your pecans and we're gonna fold them all in. Okay, now our pecans are mixed in. The next thing we're gonna do is get a cookie sheet and either put parchment paper or wax paper or something to cover it. I'm just using a little mat. And we're gonna drop teaspoon amounts of our cookie dough onto our baking sheets. Each of these mounds represent the rocky tomb where Jesus was laid. Once you have all of your cookie trays filled with cookies, we're gonna go ahead and put our cookie tray in the oven. Alrighty, here we go. Now our next scripture comes from Matthew chapter 27, verses 65 and 66, the word of God. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go, make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting a guard. So we are gonna get tape and we are going to seal off our oven door, just like Pilate had the guards seal off Jesus's tomb. 
Now that we have our cookies in the oven, we taped it up, we turned it off, you go to bed and cookies are gonna stay in there overnight. Okay, now that we have our cookies done, we are going to read Matthew chapter 16, verses two through six. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb. And they asked each other, who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw the stone, which was very large, that it had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. On the very first Easter, Jesus' followers were amazed that the tomb was open and empty and that Jesus was alive. As you can see, our cookies inside are hollow, just like the tomb was empty and open. The story of Easter is such an amazing story because when we thought it ended, it didn't. Jesus was risen from the dead and he is alive. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a wonderful Easter. I'm gonna go eat some cookies and I'll see you later.